Hi, my name is Molly Gold and I'm the president and founder of Gummo Mink. And today I want to talk with you about the three most important things you can do between Christmas and New Year's to get yourself clutter free for the new year ahead. Number one, edit the toys. For as many toys as may have come in through the winter holidays, make sure that that same number or more go out. I've got a trunk full, all Barbie items that had previously been hand-me-downs that have since been replaced for my daughter finally getting her very own Barbie house. We don't need them anymore. Someone else is gonna be able to use them well. And make sure that when you're donating those toys, that they are in good working condition, not broken in any way, and all parts are included. Just like for your own child, every child deserves toys in good order. And don't think that they aren't, don't have a place to go. Daycare centers, homeless shelters, respite homes for families in jeopardy, all need toys all year long. Number two, holiday decor. If you didn't put it out, you're not gonna use it next year, so don't bother keeping it around. We have a tree that half the lights are out. We've tried for three years to fix it. We've restrung the outside. It's already on my list for next year to buy a new one. Get rid of it, donate it, throw it out. And then number three, keep good tax records. The Goodwill website has a wonderful tax valuation guide from everything from household items to toys to clothing. And that'll help you that when you drop off a trunk full of items to be able to put how many toys they were and what their estimate value was, how many pieces of clothing and their estimated value. Your treasure is just as important a donation as your talent, as your time. And even if your treasure isn't money that you're gonna get a tax break on, it still has a value as an item. And the fourth tip is to make sure to check the donation center that you're traveling to before you get there for their hours and for a list of acceptable items. Many centers will not take stuffed animals or bedding, but there are places where you can find those to be in good use. So just make sure to do that little advanced research because the week between Christmas and New Year's, everybody's trying to make the most of that last donation for their tax records. And you should definitely do the same. I hope that these tips help you and I look forward to seeing you in a very wonderfully well-organized new year ahead. See you next time.